Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video it's about how you can deploy your program uh, using the Windows uh, wizard. So this uh, code that I have here is based on the last video I just did and as you can see all we got is uh, this is the folder for my projects and if you go to the bin debug uh, you can run this guy but let's say you want to do an installation file with a wizard so how do you do that instead of just copying this guy to another computer uh, what you can do is add another project so you click on your solution and then you right click and you do add new project and once you get this window you need to go down to other project types and you'll see setup and deployment so there's two options I never use this one but this one is uh, easier to use so Windows Studio installer and as you can see there's a few uh, the one that I use because it's so simple is the setup wizard and here you can name your setup whatever you want to set up name but I'll just leave it there and click OK as you can see we get the wizard now click next and for this program it's a Windows application so we'll leave that option there click next and then here the one I need to uh, the one that I'm using is this one primary output which is the exe file and I'm gonna click next and here uh, you can add any other type of files that this program needs like uh, an icon or anything like that on this one I'm just gonna leave it like this but this is where you add an icon if you have your own icon for the Windows program that you want like for the shortcuts so you hit next and that's all you click finish and VC Studio done all that work for you now the next step is click on setup and go to properties and you see why as you can see here <clears throat> here's a few options like for example what icon do you want to show up or in the add remove programs in the control panel and here you set up who made the program and you can add description manufacturer I'll just change this and then <clears throat> obviously your location and we can continue on your product name we we'll just say detect and running something and that's it that's what you need uh, the title is a good idea to change to I'll just copy and paste this guy or you can just leave it like that just take up that one out so just put it over here like that and then after that just hit save and we'll take this guy out and here if you want to make a shortcut for the user click on user desktop and over here on this window under name just right click create shortcut and we're gonna go to application folder and click on this one that's you your exe file and in here you just click well you can rename it to whatever you want detect amp oops something that's it and if you want to change the icon you you select this guy and go to properties and here under icon you do browse and here's where you can browse and here you can select I usually put it in here and here I have the icon or you can add it from file and that's it and the same thing with the user programs menu you do the same thing just leave it like that but make sure that this name matches with this name I'll just leave it like this for right now and so that's this guy it's like this so whatever you 
uh, you want to in the list it will show up depending what name you have here and also this guy you can have an icon too you can have your own icon for this so that's all and then we'll just build this guy and build this one this one will take a little bit longer it's building and it's finished so now if you go to your project folder <clears throat> under your as you can see now I have another folder setup one that's this name setup one so if you go in that one there's another debug and release uh, this one that I just did build uh, this one is a debug mode right now so you go to your debug folder and here it is the setup exe so if you want to deploy this to another computer uh, this guy is the one to run make sure you keep both files because if you only have the setup exe without this one the installation is going to fail so we'll just run it so you can see so you see we have the title here and we'll click next and here's telling you where you want to install the program remember that this is the the author and the manufacturer I, I, that's what I type so that's what it's giving me and you have the option to do everyone just me next hit next and it's doing whatever needs to be done basically it's just copying all the files that it needs to run into a folder in your computer so pause the video what this is doing so you can see it's completed so hit close now we're gonna go to the C drive and I'm gonna go to programs and cafe SP as you can see here I got my detect amp running and here's my file that I need so as you can see that's the idea and there's no shortcuts I believe on this one. Oh, here it is so you can see shortcut to primary output obviously you need to rename it to something that makes sense but that's how you get your shortcut in your list of programs and we'll go down and here it is my shortcut for the for the desktop detect amp and this one is the one we saw right here somewhere in there but that's how you can add uh, setup installation for your Windows forms or consoles or anything uh, that you run on your Windows application so hopefully this was helpful on how to add a setup installation using the wizard and if you have any questions uh, look me up at twitter at cafe asp thank you for watching